Hi there, I'm Hannah Maloney from Good Life Permaculture coming to you from Nipaluna Lichuita in Hobart, Tasmania. Today I'm going to show you an energy efficiency hack you can do in your kitchen to cut down on the amount of energy that you use. It's called the hot box and it's all about how you can cook your food with less energy and less of your attention, which is a win-win. But did you know Australian households are responsible for around 20% of our greenhouse gas emissions in our country? It's huge. It's actually an interesting opportunity because we've got a big chance to cut that down because it's all up to you and your personal behavior change. So it's in your control, hurrah. <laughs> of that 20%, around a quarter of it comes down to the appliances that you use in your home, including all those things in your kitchen. So I'm gonna show you how, uh, regardless of what stove that you're using, uh, you can slash how much energy you use from that um, by using what we call a hot box. With a hot box, what we do, we cook whatever we're cooking on the stove until it's to a boil. So you can see I'm making some rice here and it's boiling. As soon as it boils, you turn it off. It's off. So what we're gonna do is um, take it off the stove and put it in my homemade hot box and it's gonna cook in its own heat without any more use of electricity. Okay, folks, this is my fancy hot box. All it is is a, a wooden crate I stole off my daughter and lots of jumpers and blankets in here. I put the hot rice in there. You can see it's nice. Oh, nice and steamy. Oh, very steamy. Hang on, I've got to clean the lens. <laughs> very steamy. And, oh, it's so nice and tasty. What we're going to do is wrap it up. So it's kind of like, pretend you're just tucking it in with every blanket you can find. And so you don't want any of that hot air to escape. That's my daughter's puffer jacket as well. But don't worry, it's summer here right now, so she doesn't need it. <laughs> so I wrap all that up and I put a nice cushion on top. And that's it. Ta-da! I'm just going to leave that there. Um, I can, I'm actually going to leave it there all day because I have to go out now. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because that's going to stay there beautifully and cook in its own heat perfectly. And I'll come back to it later on when I'm ready around dinner time, so around six hours away, and add it to whatever I am um, going to make for dinner, which I don't know what it's going to be yet, but it's going to be something with rice. <laughs> These kinds of simple techniques are so easy whether you're renting or home owning. Um, often I just stick it in the corner of the couch um, over there with cushions and blankets on top, and just, that's fine as well. When I'm camping, I use my sleeping bag and just wrap it up in there and leave that um, in the corner of the tent or outside. It's all these really simple hacks which cost you no money and save you money with the amount of energy that you can um, eliminate from your use. And of course, reduce greenhouse gas emissions, which is the aim of the game. Uh, the climate emergency is here and climate action doesn't have to be hard. It's actually often quite simple, whether that's at the voting booth, in your kitchen, um, moving your superannuation money, all these things don't actually take anything away from us. They just create a beautiful way of life for everybody, not just your own self. So, you know, go make your own hot box, make some rice, have some fun. Right, um, in case you're wondering what the rice looks like once it's finished, have a look. It's still warm in there. It's just around seven hours after I put it in, so it's just cool because you don't have to, um, reheat if you want to eat it for dinner and it looks beautiful obviously cooked and they'll taste it for you mm. it's perfect the major bonus about this whole rice hot boxing thing is that you will never burn rice again so many wins to this so easy to do wherever you are camping in your home whatever have a crack <laughs>